This is a quick tutorial video for users of the GitLab um, EdCast instance. And this training is just going to go through the initial sign on process for a user when they are logging into the platform for the first time. So if you are watching this and when you log in to the learning platform, it doesn't look the same as this, don't worry about it. Our team at the time of this recording is still working on the design and layout of the platform. So this training is our first iteration, just focused on the options and choices that users are making the first time that they log into the platform. So when you get to the login page, you'll see a few different options for GitLab team members to log in via SSO or to log in with your GitLab.com account. For now, I'm going to use an email and password that has been set up for me for this recording. So once you log in, the first question that you are asked is to fill out your name, your first and last name, and it looks like there's also an option to add a profile picture, which I'm going to skip for right now, but this will be the profile picture on your EdCast profile. Once you fill in your name and your last name and you upload your profile picture, you can click next step. I would also like to note that you can edit this photo or you can upload a photo later. So if you're logging on and you don't have a photo handy, don't worry about skipping this step. The next question, it asks for you to add your learning goals. So it says, Samantha, let us personalize the content based on your learning goals. Add up to five goals. There's no options currently populated but you have the option to start typing here anything that you are interested in learning about in the GitLab learning platform. So for example, you could search for DevOps and select it as one of your interested learnings. And it looks like it pops up right above here. You could also choose management um, let's say leadership leadership skills, uh, social styles. So it looks like if you type one in that isn't populated, this might come up. The goal you're trying to add does not exist. That's fine. I will go with instead um, web development. And then let's just choose one more since we can add up to five. Um, I will see if the lab itself comes up. No, but what about Git? Let's do digital leadership. Okay, so after you've chosen your five learning goals, you choose next step. The next option says add skills. Tell others what you're good at. This will appear on your profile and help us remember you as the subject matter expert. Um, so some things that I'm good at. I'll choose education. Maybe I'll choose learning and development. Um, and let's choose creative writing. Why not? Okay, so I choose a few things that I'm good at. It will notify me in the platform as the subject matter expert, and then I click next step. I also want to note that for these steps two and three, you can just click next step and skip this part and add all of this information later on if you'd like. You can also edit these things once you're in the platform. Then I'm going to hit next. And you can see that once I have completed those three steps, I am then brought into the GitLab EdCast platform um, and I am able to navigate throughout the content in EdCast and explore the different learning opportunities that are there.